I want to talk to you about reaching your goal, completing your mission. That is your mission in life is to reach and complete your goal. If you're not living your life to complete your goal, then you are straying off. You're not living your purpose. You are doing something other than what you are meant to do. And let me explain that. Have you ever used a tool for a purpose other than what it was intended for? For instance, have you ever used a knife in place of a screwdriver? You have a screw, and let's say that's a Phillips head screw, and you think you're going to use your knife to put down in there and twist it just like a Phillips head screwdriver. But what will happen is you start turning, and that knife slips out of there and it cuts your finger. Have you ever used a pair of pliers in place of a hammer? You got your pliers and you got the claws at the top and you got your handles, but you decide you want to use it as a hammer. It's not meant to be a hammer, it wasn't designed to be a hammer, but you're going to use it as a hammer. So you decide to turn it around and you got the claws down in your palm of your hand and the handles are sticking up. So you grab onto it and you start banging on something with it and you start banging a couple times it opens up and you have that grip on it and those handles has opened up now the claws has opened up in your hand in your palm of your hand and you go to take another whack and what happens is those handles close and the claws on those pliers close in the palm of your hand and it pinches you and you learn not to do that again. You've used those pliers for something other than what it was intended to be used for. And that's the same as your life. If you're not living your life in the way that it's supposed to be lived, and that's obtaining your goal, then you're going to get pinched. You're not going to be happy with your life. Let me explain why that's important. Everyone here has a reason for being here. Everyone has their own goals, their own dreams, and there's a reason for that. It's called cause and effect, and I really believe in this, and, but I'm not here to teach any type of religion. Anything I say is not to be taken as a religious fact or a religious opinion, but I believe each person has a purpose and let me explain that have you ever played dominoes and you took the dominoes and you stacked them up in a line and you push them down and, and they fall and hit the next domino well that's cause and effect you push the first one and then it hits the next one and it hits the next one and so on and it falls but let's say someone has laid out hundreds of dominoes and you can't see above the only thing you can see you can just see at floor level you're on the floor and all you could see is the sides of the dominoes sticking up and they're sticking up one after another and that's all you can see so you you push the first one and it hits the next one and they all fall down but you don't know what is being created when it falls unless you stand up and look at the picture well just imagine you are like those dominoes all you can see is your position in life that's all you can see so as a domino the cause and effect you're standing and you cause an influence on someone else, cause and effect. 
So that's why you're here. You have a purpose, and that's to obtain your goal. You don't need to know why you need to obtain it, but there's a reason. And you obtaining your goal causes another effect. It affects someone else. And they have to obtain their goal, and that's, that's a mission. You are here on a mission in life. And when you stray off from that mission, you get corrected. You might have something telling you, I'm supposed to be doing more. I need more. I'm not happy with where I'm at. That's a little, a little voice inside your head is telling you that you are going off course. So you're like a domino and you have a purpose. Just like the domino's purpose is to hit the next domino and cause the next one to hit and so on. But eventually it creates a picture, the overall picture. So you're, if you're not living your life the way it's meant to be, you might be in a different picture that you're not supposed to be. Let's say you're a red domino creating a picture that needs a red domino. But if you're not in the right picture, let's say you're a red domino, but you're stuck into a picture that requires a yellow domino. And when that picture is completed, it looks a little funny. It's odd because there's a color that's out of place. And that's you. You are out of place in that picture. And that's these little little thoughts and images and nudges that we get telling us we are out of place. Whether it's your guardian angel slapping you in the back of the head or pushing you, something is telling you you need to complete your mission. And let me explain this. Let me give you a little illustration of what this means. Let's just think for a second. Right before you were born, You're up in heaven as a spirit, and God and Jesus are inside of an office. God is like the general, or let's just say God is like the president, and Jesus is the general. And God tells Jesus, I've seen into the future 25, 40 years. And at that time in the future, we need a nurse. And Jesus said, God, I've got the right person for the job. I've got the right person to complete that mission. And that mission is for this person to become a nurse. So Jesus calls you in. And well, let's say somebody walks in and their name is Amy. And Jesus says, Amy, you're here to complete a mission. You're given this mission. This is your mission in life is to become a nurse. And Amy says, I understand. And God goes to reiterate, Amy, I need you to become a nurse 25, 30, 40 years from now. You don't need to know the reason. You don't need to know why you have to become a nurse, but you have to. That is what I'm sending you down to become a nurse. And you say, I understand, God, and you start to walk away, but then God stops you and says, Amy, I want you to understand that the enemy also knows the enemy is going to find out that I'm sending you down to become a nurse. And the enemy will use every kind of weapon possible to stop you from completing your mission. And your mission is to be a nurse. And God tells you that the enemy will even use your own friends and family and people around you 
as weapons to stop you. And those weapons are, you might have family to tell you you're not good enough. You might have family to tell you you're not smart enough. You might have friends laugh at you. And this is the enemy using them as weapons against you to stop you from completing this mission. And Amy looks at God and says, I understand. No matter what weapons are used against me, I will prosper and I will complete that mission. And Amy walks out of the office. She goes down, becomes born. 25 years later, Amy gets this idea that she wants to be a nurse. And exactly what God told her was going to happen, happened. Her friends and family laughed at her, told her she's not good enough, she's not smart enough, told her she's lazy. So Amy delays. She don't pursue this. Ten more years later, she's now on her own. She's established herself doing other things, but she still knows in the back of her mind She's supposed to be doing something. She doesn't know about the meeting before she was born. But she knows that she is here for a reason. And that's to become a nurse. That is her goal. That is her desire. That goal is the mission that God sent her on. But she doesn't remember this. She doesn't know. But she gets these urges, she, these desires to be a nurse. And she has to overcome the negativity from the friends and family. The enemy is using them to stop her. So eventually, she becomes a nurse, but she's 40 now. It doesn't matter how she is, but she's 40. It took her a while. She finally overcame all the negativity. She did what she needed to do. She went to school and so on. And just like the dominoes, the cause and effect, we might not know why we're supposed to be doing something, but there's a reason for it. The cause and effect. So Amy's a nurse now. And she's inside of a patient's room. The doctor just saw the patient, wrote some stuff on her on her chart, on the, on the patient's chart. And Amy goes and looks over it to see if maybe there's something she needs to do. Maybe the doctor put some orders in there that maybe Amy needs to take care of. And Amy sees something in there. She sees that the doctor wrote down a certain kind of medication. And this medication is similar to another name of a different kind of medication. And Amy catches this. Wait a minute. This kind of medication that the doctor actually wrote would be harmful to the patient. But just to double check, she contacts the doctor and says, Doctor, did you mean to write this? And the doctor's like, oh my God, I can't, I can't believe I just did that and wrote down the wrong medication. Even though it was close, it was the name was close to the proper medication, but he wrote down the wrong one. And Amy saved somebody's life, and that was her mission. That's why she had to become a nurse, to save somebody's life. And the person that she saved, they have a mission. Their mission, they have a goal too, and they have a purpose, the cause and effect. So now that person, because Amy completed her mission and saved this person's life, now that person can go on and complete their mission to affect someone else. That's why you have to complete your mission. You have to achieve your goal. You don't know why you have to achieve it, but there's a reason. Cause and effect, just like the dominoes. But at the end, at the end, 
We get to see that big picture. We don't, we're not seeing it right now because it's at eye level. But once we go up, once we go up and we can look down, we can see that picture and why that mission was so important. So live your life for the purpose that it was meant to be lived and complete your mission.